Well, for over three decades now, second graders at Horace May Elementary School in Bemidji have taken center stage for the annual second grade play. Reporter Sherelle Moore takes us behind the scenes of this year's production for this week's Golden Apple. of Horace May Elementary School are once again filled with laughter, dancing, and music, thanks to their 36th annual second grade play. We have a, a whole variety of different things that we've done in those 36 years, and of the 13 that I've been here, even in that small time, quite a few things that we've done. This year, the show was all about the life of a second grader. From the moment they wake up, to the time they crawl back into bed. Things like your foot falling asleep, getting a brain freeze from eating too much ice cream, like losing your shoe and you can't find your shoe. There were two solos in the duet and I just think the uh, girls and the guy that did that were, they just did a fantastic job. You could say it's the second grade teachers who are the masterminds behind the production. They come up with a concept each year and go from there. Well, my favorite part is uh, actually the writing because usually what happens is we have a um, we have a play and then we it's not an hour long, so we start adding songs to it. And sometimes I've written songs, and sometimes uh, Mrs. Pearson's written songs. For one teacher, getting to see her class in the play is extra special. That's because she was once in her second grader shoes as a star in the show. It was a long time ago that I was a. Um, actress in it, um, but it's really cool to see both sides and I kind of know a little bit more of what the kids are feeling right now, the nerves and the excitement and all of those types of things that, that go along with it and I can talk to them from experience. After 13 years for Purrington and 22 years for McEwen, this will be their last year helping out the production. While they're sad to leave, all three teachers agree the best part of the show is watching the kids show off their talents. And some of those kids who aren't normally your stand up and say lines and all of a sudden they're in this play and it's just their thing. Reporting in Bemidji with this week's Golden Apple, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. Some definite talent there, huh? Oh, so cute. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.